screaming, pistons. Who's that? Gordon soon found out. When he arrived at the shed, the huge engine was humming quietly. Mm. Who are you? This is Spencer. He's the fastest engine in the world. Huh. Oh, Muppets on Facebook thinking you're bad, mate. I lied every last one of your birds if I'm bombing one by one. <laughs> Fucking bear right, what most. Spencer was one of the many new characters introduced in the seventh season, appearing mostly as a background character before making his full debut. He was infamously snobbish, posh, and rude, as well as highly arrogant to a point, but still a character that I and many others enjoyed. He also would appear in the eighth, tenth, and eleventh season. After being absent for about a year, Spencer would return to the series in 2006, but would leave absent again for another year, but then made the cut in the CGI transition in the 2009 special Hero of the Rails. By this point, he would develop into a semi-antagonistic anti-hero. Then there was trouble. Spencer snaked onto the tracks behind Thomas. Found you, Thomas. Spencer! He would last appear in the 22nd series episode in Engine of Many Colors, but since 2018 has been largely absent. So now that we've talked a bit about his backstory, let's go ahead and get into his Gage 1 model. Spencer's model was scratch built to run on Gage 1 track. He and his tender were cast from molds. That and he was one of the very few engines during this era to be made from fiberglass resin. Spencer's body was widened by model maker Ray Lovell, and his axles were made to accommodate the non-scale sideways shift to cope with tighter curves. The model itself was track powered, so pickup contacts were attached to the metal wheels, and Spencer's chassis itself was built by model maker Steve Knowles. Now, unlike his basis, Spencer's smoke box had a less angular shape in order to accommodate the eye mechanism, although a spare prototype raw casting shows him designed as more of a proper A4. This trait would actually be carried on into a CGI model. Unlike Mallard, who is also an A4 Pacific, and who appeared in the Railway series, Spencer's face is separate from his smoke box, and as you likely guessed, he is not an Audrey character. In Spencer's concept art, he is shown to have a double chimney, which is something all A4s received by the late 1950s, but on his actual model, he is seen with a single chimney. Spencer had nine different facial expressions made and would wear all nine. The faces, like others, were first sculpted in clay and from that resin casts were made using a silicone mold. Two of his faces were actually sculpted by model maker Jeremy King. He also had a fairly familiar eye mechanism, the usual with two servos, one for up and down movement and one for left and right movement, that connected to an arm and then connected to a bracket and thus made the eyes move. And though Spencer only had one gauge one model made, during the model era he did go through some slight modifications. These include in season eight when his buffers went from bronze to silver, and in season 10 when his blue gray livery was switched for a metallic silver one. Spencer's actual television series model is now on display in Canada at Nitrogen Studios with his smug face on, so thankfully Spencer does survive to this day. And though Spencer only had one gauge one model built, he did have another, that being a close-up model. Or did he? Spencer didn't actually have his own close-up model. This is actually Murdoch's close-up model with a repainted silver livery, something that definitely shocked me to figure out. And as we all know, in 2009, the series would switch to CGI. Nitrogen Studios would use photographs of Spencer's Gage 1 model for reference, and from that his CGI model was made, and one of the first to be seen, as he would actually debut again in Hero of the Rails, the first CGI special. Spencer, of course, did go through some modifications in the CGI era. For example, in Season 19, he gained two LNER headlamps and a tail lamp. In season 20, his livery became much more reflective. In season 21, he received a detachable snowplow. And in season 22, his whistle color changed from brass to silver, which was pretty random. But that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up the entire history of Spencer, or at least his models, or I guess single model. He didn't even have a close-up model, that's right. Definitely not what I was expecting, but very interesting and something I'm still happy to know. And hopefully you guys enjoyed and feel the same. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe for even more trained content. And if there's any other characters you guys would like to see in this series, be sure to comment down below. And I'll do my best to add them to the next poll. As always, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. I was only trying to be useful, grunted Gordon. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>